Um, the coconut milk. Depend on the brand. Depends on the brand. Mm -hmm. And you have a brand that you like to stick with. Yeah. Okay. If you, you have an extra. I have extra one. An extra uh, can. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, be careful. <laughs> I didn't know it was open. Okay. Where are the napkins? All right, cheers, Mel. All Thanks right. for having us. Thank you, Chris. In your kitchen. All right. Mm. See what I'm saying? Good. Yeah. Sweet, but not too sweet. Not too sweet. It's and great. What are you making today? I'm gonna make the tau soy, well-known, famous curry dish from Thailand, the northern part of Thailand. The north part of Thailand, yes. and that's where you're from. Yes, that's from my hometown. This is your hometown dish. Absolutely. Now, so if you're in the south of Thailand, you can't get this dish, or could you? You might, but the taste is going to be quite a bit different because you have to have the local people make it up for you because they have some secret tips that only those people from that area could know. About. Really? Yeah. And that, that's not something that could be like brought down from the north like, hey, this is how you do it, you know? Like, <laughs> so we're getting the real authentic thing. I believe so. If we weren't in Claremont, We'd have to be in North Thailand <laughs> to have this dish. Yeah. That's awesome. We are here and I'm going to be a cook for you. The other big thing that you're into besides cooking is snowboarding. I, I watch these videos of you and you just keep pushing yourself. You fall, you, you're flipping over the board. I, at what point do you go, okay, that's it, I'm done. I'm tired of falling. I think I'll just go down the mountain. You know that feeling is coming up every single time, every, every single run that I had. So in between takes, probably every time, you're like, that's it, I'm not going to do it anymore. But yeah. then you get back on the board and then yeah. there's the next clip. Yeah, that, that's it, I'm done. And I just need um, a cup of few breaths, stay with myself and then make up my mind. All right, let's see how you do this. So first part, I'm just going to prep the vegetable that we garnish on top. So it's not. It's just going to be just a little part and okay. then we move to to making the, the main the main. Part. And garnishes are like a big part of the, the entire dish. I mean, I, I think anytime I have like Thai food, there's garnishes, but they all make sense. They're all part of the flavor. They're that's not just right. there to make it look pretty. That's right. And that's important for all of you chefs and restaurants out there. The garnish has to make sense. No rosemary sprigs sticking out too. That's just, <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with that? How long have you been cooking? I, I moved to United States seven years ago. Okay. First, I landed to Chicago. Chicago. And I spent five years there before I moved to San Diego. Oh, really? Yeah. And and then that time I realized that Thai food is very hard to find, even more the, the good Thai food. In Chicago? In, everywhere. Everywhere. In but Chicago is such a good food town. Can you find better Thai food in San Diego? Yeah. You um, can? We, I can, oh. but I'm pretty much a little picky on the food. That's why I have to sure. make my own You know what taste. you like. Yeah. You know what's right and yeah. what, what, what's uh, maybe like too Americanized. <laughs> okay. So when, when you go to the Thai restaurant and, and the, when the dish is served, and then you, you, you try it, and then you feel like, nah, it's not the taste. It's not. And I would, if you ask so for disappointing. more, <laughs> More fish sauce, more limes. It's gonna. I think it's gonna be a little bit disrespectful for the chef. Oh. So yeah, that's why I, I try to avoid it and then just move it. You just yeah, yeah. You're better off. <laughs> I, I cook a lot at home, and I just mm -hmm. every time I make a dish, I go. I always say, why go out to eat? Like I'll say it to myself. Unless it's like something I can't make. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know really how to make Thai food, so I would go out to a Thai restaurant. Yeah, that's what, one of the reasons. That's why I start cooking at home. Okay. And just. So you're self-taught. Yeah. You just said go. I'm gonna have to try making this at home because yeah. it's not what I can get back home. That is so yeah. cool. This is to to remember home. Yeah. So first of all, I have to fry the chili paste. It will be put in the oil and gonna be itchy on your nose a little bit. Itchy on the nose, like mm -hmm. it's gonna make me sneeze. 
maybe. I'm not sure. Let's find out. I don't think the people at home want to watch me sneeze. <laughs> Try not to, okay. I don't want them to lose or ruin their appetite. So that's, a, that's chili paste? Yes. Okay. Was it red chili paste? Mm. Or just chili paste? It, I can say it's the red chili paste and have some um, herbs in it. Okay. And we just mash it together. This is the best um, base chili paste that we usually put in the red curry, yellow curry, or the Penang curry. It's okay. pretty much like the same, but just different ingredients. You gotta have a good chili paste. Is that what you're saying? The best. Chili paste you could pick up at 7-Eleven is probably not that good. 7-Eleven. <laughs> okay, so you got, is that canola oil or vegetable oil? Vegetable oil. So you're sweating the paste, I guess. You're, you're cooking the paste, you're sweating it. To make it more, Aromatic. Yeah. Oh, more, I can smell that. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Try not to. Okay. I told you. That one is like in my nose and on the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Add a little bit of coconut milk. Ooh, it's really hit me now. <laughs> That'll clear all the <laughs> evil spirits from your house. Demons be gone. So I'm just gonna put the chicken drumstick into it. Is already cooked this drum? This uh, chicken? yeah, I cook it halfway okay, because you... it's gonna take shorter time. Got it. Okay, so now you you, you added all that coconut mm -hmm. milk, but you added it gradually. Yeah. You didn't want to put it all at once. Mm-hmm. And then I have the leftover coconut milk that you spilled it. I didn't spill it. <laughs> what is that one video I, I saw? It got like a million views on Instagram. Just went like, was a reel, I guess. And it had like a million views. Is that the one where you're like flipping over? You're going like upside down? Yeah. What, what, what are you doing there? Like you're, what are you doing? <laughs> What the hell's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> Since I start snowboarding, I, I always go with my boyfriend, yeah. and my boyfriend can do that, and he, he calls it. So called. he's doing it, and you're like, oh, I gotta do that too. If he can do that, I can do that too. You're okay. Yeah, yeah, I, that's that's what I think. Okay. Yeah, and and so I asked him to to teach me how to do it. So he start to bring me to the trampoline park. Oh, okay. Yeah, and. During during that time, it's it's right between the pandemic. Gym's closed, everything is closed. So we went to the um, the beach, and then we tried to do the flip on oh, the sand. You learn how to do this flip on the beach. Yeah, by he supporting me. So you fall in the sand. Yeah, so fall in the it sand. doesn't hurt. It's hurt, and sometimes if you flip like that, it's 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 unnormal, like human position, you know. Yeah. You 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 walk like this, but one day you have to. Hit, hit you upside down. And you don't know where up is or down is yeah, when you're doing that? And yeah. then where, how to land? And Yeah, I don't know how to land, but um, like a couple of times I, I used my neck and landed it. And it hurts so bad oh. the next day. And you're making these videos and they have to be inspirational to a lot of people out there that are watching them saying, okay, she's tough, <laughs> she's doing this, I could do it, I want to do it too and you get people that are like becoming like fans of yours yeah first of all we're filming it almost every day that we went to to the mountain because we just my boyfriend just want me to see how i snowboarding so okay. i can see how i do it and how i can fix it and he he's gonna point oh okay this is the problem you have to fix this you have to change this a little bit and i can see myself for the concept and i can try to change it next okay. time. I start snowboarding when I'm not young, you know, like my 27 years old. Yeah, I start from that, from zero. No snowboarding, no skateboarding, no skill, nothing. I mean, because I guess a lot of people that get into this start at a very, very young age. When you're that, when you're super young, like, I don't know, five. Yeah. You don't have any fear. Like, yeah. They, they, they just, Yeah. kids are crazy. Yeah. So at, at 27, you're like, no, I know it's gonna hurt, I have and I don't like pain. Tomorrow, and, and I you gotta can't. Work yeah. Exactly. I, I can't hurt myself, but I have to do it. But how I can do it? 
by not hurting myself the next day I have to go to work. Wow. Yeah, I have so many factors, but when the clip video goes online, the people are just like, why you take so long time to complete that? I take my, I take one day, I take two runs, but I was like, <laughs> the people, people not even try to, uh, to know whatever. Oh, everyone's an expert, you know that. Yeah, everyone's an expert. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I just... Cool, good for you. Okay, let's drop some noodles. This one. Let's go. Oh, wow. Ta-da. Perfect noodle. Okay, so you've got the fried ones, and then you got the boiled noodles. What the kind of noodles again? Egg noodles. Egg noodles. Now you cook it till it's al dente. Yeah, al dente. Now do you want to cook it a little under al dente? Because when it goes into the hot sauce, it'll kind of continue to cook. Mm. Not that I'm suggesting anything. Okay. I think they're good. I think that's a good texture. Okay. See how she tastes as she cooks? Mo knows what's up. You got to taste as you cook. Yeah. Just because you've done this probably a hundred times doesn't mean it's, it could come out the same way. That's correct. And we add a little more palm sugar in it to make it sweet. Okay, so what is this? The palm sugar. Okay. It's different from the, the, white, the white sugar. Okay. It's not like super sweet. So you want like a, a balance of a little bit of sweet and mm -hmm. spice. And spice and, and a little bit of salt. Yep. Okay. And then check the chicken if it's... And checking the chicken for done. Yeah, it's pretty big, so I have to make sure it's cooked through. Okay. That looks looks good. good. Yeah. Now, how do they make fish sauce? Mm, that's what I want to know, too. You want to know? <laughs> good. So you're adding it to your, like, spatula, and then you go in there. Mm. Is that so you can kind of monitor, so you don't over... Do yeah. It with the... Yeah. Okay. So don't don't pour anything into your bowl directly. You can't. You you don't know how much is already went. Okay. Yeah. So you, you can your see guide. your eye. Yeah. Good. Is that the happy happy head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to try and. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if my head shakes like that. <laughs> got some kick to it yeah but it's balanced much. Ooh, it's got some heat yeah but it does taste good yeah and I think it's got everything that you this balanced in there. that's good it goes now oh okay. yeah I'm gonna taste it with my wine mm -hmm. taste that sauce and then take a sip of that wine I never have curries with the right with the white wine yeah with okay. the Verdejo Mm. Tell me if that works. I think it works. Mm, that, so good. That works, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Every time you go in the Thai restaurant and you order the curry, order the white wine. This looks like something you would have after a long day of snowboarding. Beautiful. Look at that. And it's yours. Thank you. Jeez, where to begin? <laughs> Look at that. Thank you. Wow. You're this looks great. You're welcome. Now, do I, should I put a little lime or should I taste it first? Do you like Thai food? I love Thai food. Did you spoon with the left hand? Yeah, I left handed. Oh, you are left-handed? Yeah. So then maybe I should be doing it with my right hand. I I am left-handed and most of the time, when you are left-handed, you're gonna ride the board goofy. Do you know how to call goofy? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I write goofy. But I write regular. So that means regular is for right-handed people. Okay. Is it? Yeah. The goofy for left-handed people. 
Well, then I'm Ball very. Mostly. I'm super goofy because I'm right handed and I write goofy. Right, right handed and goofy. Oh, okay, we special. <laughs> Very good. Mm, thank you. This is a nice dish. Yeah, so anybody watching this, if you want real Thai food, make this dish to the T. See, now, see, here's how I eat. I, I'm, I do it all wrong. Or is, it, is it wrong to go in here? No, and... not at all. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. So now, how many dishes can you make? How many Thai dishes do you have now? Do you have the paper? You, you, got a, you have a lot. I got a lot. Mm. I make pad thai, I make chicken, I make curries, I make, oh, whatever I like to eat, I can make it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so you're, you're like me, you're in the camp of why go out to eat, I can make it better at home. Yeah, exactly. Although I, I, well, now that I've watched you make this, I will make it at home. Very good. And I gotta say, I think I nailed it with the wine. What's next? Winter's coming up. You're going to be snowboarding. How many days a week do you go out there? Like every time you can get away, right? I'm off two days a week. So I... You spend those two days? I spend those two days on the mountain. Back at home, you're surfing. Mm -hmm. And when you're surfing, when you're not surfing, you're practicing on the sand how to land a snowboarding trick. Yeah. How to not use your neck land it on the sand. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> That's Please. not good. Yeah. <laughs> There's one thing I know. You don't want to land anywhere around there. And where do you go, where is your favorite place to go when you can get away, like get, go far? Go far? I normally like the Utah, Colorado, and some of the Lake Tahoe. Okay. So every year I usually go to the uh, Copper, Copper Mountain at the Colorado. And last year I went to Aspen and see the X game. Um, oh, you did? Yeah, I did for the X game. And then the snow was, Phenomenal. It's that's why it's, that's why it costs like five hundred dollars a day. To yeah, <laughs> yeah. What are the next tricks you'll be working on this season? I try to go slow. Try to do low key because I'm getting old right now. I just try not to hurt myself so bad. It's gonna gonna come back. When you break something, it's not gonna, it's gonna come back hundred percent in one right. day. Yeah. So just gonna focus on how to do 180, 360, and cool. focus on my basic skills. Okay. And flip place. So what kind of board are you riding right now? I'm riding, the old one I ride in the Salomon, no drama. Okay. It is, I love it, and now I switch to the Burton. You switch to the Burton? Yeah, switch to the Burton. Just just want to try a different board, and then how, to see how You feel how a big different. difference? Yeah, and I try, and I changed the, the regular binding to the step on right now and see how, how differently. And so I can compare it and the good and the bad to my audience and to my friends. And so, then what other accessories are you, uh, you into? Like as far as your, your boots or? The same, it, it's burden that so have to go into right? the, the step on. Okay. Yeah, because the boots have to, have to go with the binding. Okay. So it have to be the same brand. Got it. Yeah, but but most of the pro, the snowboard pro, they they're still using the regular bindings right now. You know it. You know it. I just ask. I snowboard, <laughs> not like you do. And I was a, a late starter with snowboarding. And I I, I do good. I go down some black diamonds. You wow. Know, like Mammoth. Wow. I do You're it. Pro. I go. Yeah. I go, girl. Mm. I make it happen. Let's go. I'm just not going. Yeah, but I think you'll probably. I'll, I'll be like. <laughs> Okay, meet you at the bar around 12. <laughs> <laughs> at the bar, yeah. Okay, gotta have that IPA in the middle of the day. <laughs> gotta have an I, a $14 IPA, you know, to like relax. I know. All right, well, thank you so much, Mel. This was delicious. You have to try this dish. And you gotta check out Mel on her Instagram. Follow her. She's awesome. She's inspiring. Her food's inspiring. Thank you. And I should say, um, I don't know a lot of Thai, but I can say, uh, Thank right. you for having me. Thank you. Living your best life, and you won't disappoint it. Thank you. All right. I like that. Okay, cheers. Cheers.